Mosaicism is a term that's discussed a lot in relation to PGTA testing or, or to pre-implantation genetic testing. And I thought I would just explain what exactly mosaicism is. Remember back in like art class in elementary school where you would go to art class and you would make a mosaic. You know, you'd get a, a you'd get a, like a, a square or a plate and you get a bunch of colored tiles and you would put them all together and you would make a picture that when you stood back and you looked at it, it would look like you know a picture of a bird flying through the sky or something. But when you got close, you could see that the blue tiles were made up of all kinds of different images and pictures and colors. And then the same with the yellow tiles, that the mosaic, even though from a distance it looks like a certain picture, up close you see it's all different. When it comes to embryos, that's what mosaicism is referring to, that some of the cells might be different than the other cells. The problem with that is that with with uh, PGTA testing up to this point, and if you've gone through IVF, you're familiar with this. PGTA testing up to this point is where you are taking a biopsy from an individual cell, from an embryo. You're pulling off several cells from the outer layer of the embryo and testing them, genetically testing them. The problem with that is what if that embryo is mosaic? What if those cells don't actually represent the rest of the embryo? What if they don't represent what the true picture of the embryo is? Maybe those cells come back as abnormal when the embryo itself is normal. Maybe those cells come back as abnormal or as normal, but the embryo itself is not. That's the problem that we've addressed with non-invasive PGTA. You see that non-invasive PGTA uses the DNA that is in the culture media of the embryo and can test to see what the, what the entire embryo's genetic structure is, avoiding that problem of mosaicism. What that means is that it gives you a lower or non-existent false negative rate. Meaning that if you come back and if the result says that it's a healthy embryo, that, that it actually is. So what that means is that we're, we're helping to identify true healthy embryos and therefore, for, and then getting to the point where we're increasing the clinical pregnancy rates as a result. Also, there's no damage to the embryo and it's safer and it gives clinics access to uh, PGTA testing that may not previously have had access to it. So I just wanted to explain what mosaicism was and hopefully that illustration was helpful.